Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been a really, really long time since I last did a favourites video. So I thought that instead of doing a monthly favourites video, because that would make no sense, I haven't done one for I think a month or two months, I thought I would do an autumn favourites video and just give you the highlights. I can't go through everything I've been loving because we would be here forever. So if I just go through some of the highlights, the things I've been loving and actually some of the things that have made a real difference to my life. There's two things that I really want to tell you about which have made a real difference to my life. So I'm just going to delve straight in because there is so, so, so much that I want to tell you about. So I think I'm going to start from the top down, if that makes sense. I'm going to start with a couple of bits that I've really been loving for my hair. And the first one is this really tiny little unassuming packet. It's called Herapeutics. And it is basically a little cardboard sachet. It's literally no bigger than that. And it contains two little sachets. You can see I've used them already. Two little sachets of hair oil. It's a pre-wash treatment and you use it before you wash your hair about an hour before, but actually for best results, they say use it overnight. So that's exactly what I did because you guys know I love using hair masks and hair oils overnight anyway. It smells lovely but it works incredibly well. When I got this, I was actually a little bit skeptical because I think it said, let me just check on the packet, it said something like beautiful hair in a week. And of course I was a little bit skeptical because that's just the way I am. Anyway, I used these two sachets before my last two washes and I can really feel the difference. I mean, my hair is very dry and it needs some sort of, I don't know, miracle. But this was as close to damn it. I have to say that these really, really worked. I really want to get hold of a few more packets and probably do it every wash for about a good month or two months to undo all the damage that I have done to my hair over the summer holidays. My hair is now looking so much shinier than it has done for a very long time. It still needs more work, so that's why I want to get hold of a few more of these, but it's made such a difference in two goes that I'm really excited to see what could happen if I let use it for another month or so. I've also totally been loving this brand called Swell. It is a volumizing hair range and it doesn't dry my hair out. I use so many volumizing products when I'm here in the UK because my hair just doesn't have any volume. When I'm abroad, it has no problem being like super voluminous, voluminous but I can't really use them regularly, these volumizing products, because it just dries my hair out. Whereas these Swell ones don't dry my hair out at all. They contain no silicon either. I have actually written a whole blog post about this range, so I will link that for you below. Make sure to go and read it, because I've actually got some tips on how to get volume in fine hair from the man who created this brand, so straight from the horse's mouth. You've got to read it, you might as well, you might pick something up. And last but not least, when it comes to hair, it's a hair oil. That's no great surprise, because you guys know I love my hair oils. I love facial oils, body oils, hair oil, everything. But anyway, so I didn't actually think that anything would surpass my Show Beauty hair oil. It smells beautiful, it does the job amazingly well. But as you can see, I'm now halfway through my third bottle, and it is quite expensive. I think I'll always repurchase this though because it is it just does amazing things for my hair. I use it before I blow dry and then again after I finished my blow dry just to add some style definition and kind of tame the frizzies. But I've recently been trying the Way hair care range and I've used the smooth option because um, my hair gets frizzy. So I've been using the smooth shampoo, conditioner and, and oh, oh, also the mask. The mask is brilliant. But if I was to tell you about one product that I loved from the Way range so far, it is the hair oil. It smells gorgeous. It smells of jasmine and white flowers, which I absolutely love. You can smell it in your hair the next day as well. I've had comments from people that my hair smells gorgeous and that's on day two. I think this is about half the price of the Show Beauty hair oil. So if that was too much for you, but you do want a really luxurious and good for you hair oil that you can use pre-blow dry and post-blow dry, I would try out Way. Um, I will link everything for you below. Oh, and if you didn't know, Way is by Kim Kardashian's hairstylist, Jen Atkins. So 
I'm not sure if that puts you off <laughs> or if that makes you want to try it. I've just realized that I'm probably talking so fast, but that's because I can see what I've got next to me on all the bits that I want to talk to you about and I don't want this video to go on forever and ever and ever. So hopefully you can kind of press pause or rewind or whatever and hopefully everything I'm saying is going to make sense. Uh, on to makeup. I've currently been really into eyeshadow palettes. I've actually gone completely crazy. I think I'm having a slight weird moment with eyeshadow palettes and there's so many of them that I'm completely loving at the moment that I probably ought to do a separate video or a blog post on all the eyeshadow palettes that I've recently acquired but I want to pick out two for you today one of which I'm wearing on my eyes and I've just done a little tutorial on creating this look so if you fancy seeing this make sure to subscribe because that will be coming up really really soon so I'm wearing this one and it's the Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette it's the rose gold edition and it contains all these beautiful beautiful what she calls textured shadows it's very difficult to say here's the palette it is so beautiful ah, I can't open it there we go I it upside down <laughs> there you are it is absolutely gorgeous I love every single shade because that's just up my street. All the pinks and the reds and the russets and the cranberries, some lovely warm browns as well. There's a really lovely matte black there. But what really sets this eyeshadow palette apart is these things that have a completely different texture. You can't really apply these with a brush. You really have to use your fingers and dab it onto your eyelids. But the effect is incredible. They're super, super pigmented and have this incredible metallic effect but really Luke's effect. I can't actually even describe it. You have to try it out for yourself. I have a feeling that this is limited edition, which is a real shame. So I hope Huda, please, if you ever watch this video, which I'm sure you won't, but if you do, or if anyone knows Huda, tell her don't make this limited edition because these are really lovely to have all in one palette. I know that a blogger somewhere has found a dupe for every single one of these eyeshadows, but really, if you can just get it in this beautiful palette, why would you not? And the other palette that I'm totally in love with and have been wearing a lot is this one from Violet Voss. And it's called the Holy Get Grail. <laughs> it's called the Holy Grail palette, which I think is just such a brilliant name for an eyeshadow palette. And that is what's inside. So you can see that it's not really a million miles away from the non-textured eyeshadows from the Huda palette. No black in there though. So if you like having a black in your eyeshadow palette, this one doesn't have it. And in fact, the darkest brown isn't that deep and that dark, but it is a beautiful selection of shades. I've been wearing this pretty much every day on a day-to-day -day basis because you can really get a lovely light soft autumnal look with this palette or you can go a little bit deeper and darker and ramp it up especially with this beautiful reddish cranberry color which is so pretty and this one up here called hashtag I absolutely love there was a limited edition MAC shadow I can't even remember what it was called it was when they did a collaboration with Mickey Contractor he's a a very famous makeup artist in Bollywood and he did one shade which was very similar to hashtag and I obviously used it up finished so I'm really pleased to have it back in this palette um, I'm talking so fast I can't get my words out fast enough this also goes out of stock really really quickly I think I bought it on Beauty Bay so I will link it for you below because it comes in and out of stock and once it's in stock you have to buy it really quickly since I've come back from my holiday which actually was ages ago I can't even say it feels like ages ago it really was ages ago because I came back end of August so it's a long time ago. However, since then, I've pretty much been using the same combination of skin base, and it's these three. Just make sure that the right way around and not upside down. These three products, and I just mix them up, and they have given me the really skin-like finish with a bit of a glow, holding on to a tiny little bit of tan that might be left. I hold on to my tan for a long time. So I am using a pump of this, which is the Ohm Skincare Invisible Finish Primer. This on its own, actually, when I had my tan, was amazing. It just gave this airbrush radiance to my skin, and I mix that in with one or two pumps, depending on how I'm feeling, of the By Terry Sun Glow. It just gives a lovely radiance, a bronzed, very delicate bronzed look to the skin. So a couple of pumps of that. 
And then if I need a little bit more coverage, I add a pump of the Magic Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury and I'm in the shade 8 which looks like it would be too light, but this slightly oxidizes. So it actually finishes off as a really lovely shade. So those are the three things. Actually, I'm wearing that on my skin now. I really love this combination. I probably will have to step it up a little bit as winter comes in and I start looking a little bit tired and sallow and really, really pale, more well, pale for me. But for now, this is exactly what I'm wearing. My favorite eye primer stroke eyeshadow base was by Trish McAvoy and it was in the shade Toffee. It was perfect, it was lovely. If I wanted nothing on my eyes and just wanted some mascara and head out, I would just put that over my eyelid, blend it through, bit of a mascara, and I'd be out the door and it would just even out the skin tone, any pigmentation, just make me look alive. And guess what? Trish McAvoy decided to discontinue Toffee. Like every other shade is still there, can't get toffee. I thought maybe I could try and get it in the States, maybe they just discontinued it here in the UK, but no, just discontinued toffee. I have no idea why. So since then I've been on the hunt for something that would work as well as toffee, because to me that was just the best eye base. So I've been using Painterly and Soft Ochre, these two paint pots from MAC, which were great, but they weren't quite the right shade for me, so I couldn't actually just use them on their own. I have to go over them with something. But then recently, I discovered Max Laying Low, another paint pot from MAC. I don't know why I didn't know this shade existed before. I don't know if it's new, and if it isn't, why didn't I know it before? But this is basically Trish McAvoy's Toffee in a pot, I love it. It lasts much longer than that tube because that used to dry out as well too quickly for me. This is lovely. So I just apply a little bit of laying low with my fingers and just dab it on over my eyelid and I actually apply it through the crease as well just to, as I said, even out any pigmentation and it's perfect as an eyeshadow base but it's also perfect for when I just don't want to wear any eye makeup on my eyelids at all. It's just a lovely invisible base. I love it. So. If you are the same MAC shade as me, I am NW45, then this would work really well for you too. One of my favorite products for a really quick and easy and natural contour was from this Kiko Duo. It came as two chunky pencils in a duo, and one was a contouring pencil and one was a highlighting pencil, but they were limited edition. And actually quite a few of you have asked me about it, and I, I even got in contact with Kiko and they told me it was limited edition, not quite sure if it's gonna come back, maybe, maybe not, but at the moment it really hasn't. So ever since then, since I finished that one, I've been looking for something to replace that. And this is what I found, and it's just basically the same thing by collection. So it's really affordable as well. It's called the Precision Contouring. It's a chunky pencil that you just twist up. So it's really, I love twist up pencils, you don't have to do any sharpening and because it's a pencil you can apply it really, really, as it says, it's really precise. I find this super easy to use when I just want to contour the very tip of my nose and not like go heavy on any contouring. It's really, really light and it blends so easily with your fingers. So I can, and I can really kind of hug under my cheekbone when I want a higher up contour as well. Oh my God, nearly finished with the makeup and then there's just a couple of other things that I wanted to tell you about. If you haven't noticed already, I'm kind of going back into my bold lip. So these I'm absolutely loving right now. First off, it's the MAC Lip Tensity. They are so pigmented and so, so easy to wear. They don't bleed as well, so if you're worried about kind of feathering lines, then you don't have to worry with these. They stay exactly where they're put. One of the things I totally love about this, although it's not a deal breaker, but unlike all the MAC lipsticks that come in their black bullet, these have colour-coded lids. Yay! So when you're rootling around in your makeup bag, you can see exactly which shade you are picking out. It's, it's a no-brainer. So I have two shades. I'm actually going to go and get myself a nude shade as well just because I love the formula of these. They stay on for ages and they really hug the lips as well. I'll put the shade names down in the description box below if you fancy trying any of these out. What I'm wearing on my lips at the moment is the Rouge Allure Ink from Chanel. It's kind of like their version of a liquid lipstick except it's not 
too liquidy. It's really easy to put on. It's actually more of a cream. I love how diddy this is as well. That can fit in the smallest of evening clutch bags, so I love that about it as well. And it's really a dream to put on. Again, really super comfortable on the lips. It's not matte, it's more of a kind of, uh, it leaves a slight sheen on your lips. It's a cream, so it kind of dries down a bit, but it's not a complete matte. It's not like, say, a Kat Von D or an Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick. And, of course, it's the beautiful packaging that you get from Chanel. Not that that should make a difference, but of course it does. You guys know I love a double cleanse, and I'm so excited with this little duo from Erno Laszlo. These have recently been launched, and it's basically a combination of a cleansing oil and a cleansing bar and you use the oil first and you go over the oil with the cleansing bar and that just completely cleanses your skin and releases the oil with all the dirt and impurities from your skin and you just wash it off and if you're scared of using oils this doesn't actually feel like an oily oil it's actually a really good introduction to double cleansing and to oil cleansing as well there are four four varieties and I think that I will actually be using a combination of the black one, which is the detoxifying, and the blue one, which is firming and lifting. I've recently only been using the black one, the detoxifying, because it has been that time of the month. So I think what I will do, kind of on an ongoing routine, is use this the week before that time of the month, and then the rest of the month I will use the blue one, the firming and lifting one. Oh, and did I mention that it comes in this really cute packaging? So it's perfect for travel as well. So you kind of just slide this open and there is the product. And this black little case that you see is actually a soap dish with drainage for this cleansing bar as well. So it's really cleverly designed and perfect for travel as well. A couple of health things that I wanted to tell you about. I have written about the first one on the blog in quite a lot of detail, but I haven't talked about it here on YouTube. So I wanted to tell you about these supplements that I've been taking. I'm currently in my third month of taking them and I think I'm just going to keep on going. This is Lumity. You've probably read about it in the press because it's had a lot of press. It's really made a difference to me in so many ways and I'm not going to go on and on about it right now here because I have written all about it. I've done a full review and my thoughts on it and what difference it's made to me. That was after month one. So I think I'm going to do an update of how I feel on these after month two and then maybe I'll do a little one after month three, I'm not sure. They seem to be the trendy supplement at the moment but don't let that put you off because I have seen such a change in me in so many ways, physically and mentally. Um, just, I can't, I'm not going to go into it right now because I really think you should just read the blog post. I'll link it for you below, just click through and have a little read of that and let me know if you have any questions as well. And a book that I have been loving recently, sorry about that, that's all the bookmarks that we've been putting in for the recipes we want to try. This is Lean for Life by Louise Parker. It's all about living a more healthy lifestyle that's sustainable, not like a, a quick fad and a diet. There's umpteen recipes in there that we've been trying and that we're going to try. I will link that below as well, definitely worth looking at that too. Last up, it's completely not beauty, it's a handbag. Like, no great surprise, right? I have been using this beautiful Chloe Fay bag. It's so beautiful and it always gets so many comments and compliments. And I bought this really for kind of more special occasions and days and it really peps up any outfit. It becomes the center point of an outfit. So it's leather here and this is pony skin with this leopard print and it's almost too lovely to use on an everyday basis but I really love the design, I love how it holds everything I want it to hold. It looks like it's really big, it's actually very compact, you can see how compact it is but it holds so much, it holds everything I want to for the day but I just don't want to ruin it by using it every day so I managed to get it in an all leather, in a really everyday colour. It'll take some knocks, it'll take some bruises, it'll take everyday life much better than the other one. And I love this colour and the smell is... I just love the smell of really good quality leather. It's got all the same, exact same phase styling with the chain here linking into this and the magnetic clasp and then 
the two pockets in there and a zip pocket there. So absolutely the same interior obviously and the same organization inside, but it's just gonna be a little bit more hardy for everyday use. So I just wanted to put this in there with my favorites because this is my new baby. So that is it for this favorites video. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know if you've tried anything or have anything that I've mentioned or if you fancy trying it out, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what I've been loving this past couple of months. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, please click the subscribe button down below and subscribe because I would really love to have you come back regularly and watch my videos and have your comments. If you're not already following me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and Snapchat, especially Snapchat, then I will leave all the links to my social media in the description box down below, so make sure to click through and follow me there. Oh, and mentioning giveaways, I am now going to start doing, oh, two things. I'm going to be doing a weekly giveaway on my Snapchat, probably on a Sunday evening, I think. It's probably the best time for me to do that, so follow me on Snapchat for that, and also in the run-up to Christmas, so I know that's coming soon-ish. So in the run-up to Christmas in December, I'm gonna do my own version of Advent Calendar and give something away every day in December. So stay tuned for all of that. Thanks so much for watching. If you've come back to my channel to watch this, thanks for coming back. If you're a new viewer, it's really lovely to have you and I hope that you subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.